just kind of sitting here bored doing my work and I thought I'd share with you what I do. This is iNaturalist. It's probably the world's most popular nature app. There are well over a million naturalists and scientists that submit photos of plants from all over the world to iNaturalist. And I have several projects here that I work on. And uh, there's me up here. So let me show you how I do this. There's my projects that I am a curator of. One of the curators. The one I'm working on right now is Tracking Tree of Heaven, Spotting Spotted Lanternfly, EcoQuest Challenge, July 2020. And uh, it doesn't have to be done during that month. Uh, the reason I'm doing it now is because uh, there were several others involved in this project and it appears to me as I go through these lists of some sometimes three to six hundred entries of photos that um, they aren't being categorized so what I do is I have to take pictures it's, it's kind of like clicking and dragging and you take these pictures and uh, Sorry about the traffic noise. Believe it or not, I live on a scenic country road. And it's been so loud this year. And everybody seems to have taken their um, unemployment money and bought aftermarket mufflers that aren't even mufflers. They're just noisemakers. And it's just been terrible. So anyhow, now that that pain in the neck is gone... I have to click on the reserv uh, observations. There's 360 of them in here, and this is the Tree of Heaven Spotted Lanternfly. Tree of Heaven is an invasive, and uh, the Spotted Lanternfly, once again, uh, they didn't really say, nobody's really said where it came from, but I always blame places like Lowe's and Home Depot. It's an Asian bug. It's not supposed to be here. So somehow it ended up on a boat with a shipment of lumber, or God knows what else. Could have been any kind of shipment and ended up in our neck of the woods. Tree of Heaven, let me see if I can get a good picture for you here. I'm sure you've seen it before. Here's one. Let me see if I can get it to come up. This is Tree of Heaven, I'm sure you've seen it before. They call it the Palm of the Northeast. And the reason we have so many invasives, and that's what I'm doing, is the invasives project. The reason we have them in my area so much, which is the lower Hudson Valley, is because of all the estates. Back at the turn of the century and even the turn of the 19th century, a lot of these estates were really interested in these plants from all over the world. And it kind of showed your wealth to have them and it showed your status to have them because you didn't just go to the garden store to buy them. They didn't have them back then. What you did was you hired a botanist to go and either find this in its native environment or you found someone who would connect you to someone who was growing these somewhere else in another part of the world. A lot of these plants were brought from the Orient to the, um, the upper... European countries like um, uh, basically England and uh, from there they sold a lot. Uh, I guess you could get a catalog. I'm sure there were were some available back then but um, yeah that's what you did. You, you got these plants and uh, they unfortunately those estates are long gone now. Uh, some of them are around. Uh, some are used as museums and somewhat maintained but these plants ran amok and the Japanese lantern fly is very very interested in this tray seems to be one of its favorites so let me show you what's going on here this picture was taken by this woman here and she has 96,000 plus observations she's been probably working at this a long time and uh, when you take a picture of this from my naturalist, it'll show you 
it'll also give the location. So she took this picture in Hardwick Township near Newton, near the Delaware Water Gap, and that's in Sussex County, New Jersey. It says right at the bottom, Sussex County, New Jersey. And if you click on the details, it'll give you the latitude and longitude and uh, exactly where it was taken. So what I do with this is, let me go back again. Oh, there's the spotted, spotted lanternfly in two different forms. That's the adult and that's the larvae. Well, it's not really larvae, I guess. It, that's before it becomes, I guess that's a teenager. Jeez, <clears throat> this bug is everywhere. So I've been going through these a little at a time. It's actually kind of pretty, but when you think about all the damage it does, it doesn't just affect the tree of heaven either, it affects a lot of other trees. And it's one of the other invasive uh, insects we're trying to get rid of. The problem with invasive, there it is with its wing spread. <clears throat> the big problem with all invasives is uh, they crowd out the natural plants. And I had explained in another video a couple months ago when I was out on one of my surveys that uh, Take the uh, eastern cottontail, for instance. Um, we used to have rose bushes that grew in the Hudson Valley, and that was their, they were natives, and that was their prime source of food and shelter. Uh, now we have, if you've noticed, the white flowering um, rose bush, and that's not supposed to be here. That's another invasive. And the rabbits have thrived to a point, but they also suffer from a hemorrhagic disease. So it, it's not ideal for them, and these plants will a lot of times just crowd out the other plants around them. And uh, the native ones, there, there we go again. You see that? Oh my goodness, they're driving me crazy. It's every day, all day here with the noise. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm trying to find one that I haven't cataloged yet. What I have to do is look for the RG, which stands for research grade. And there's another one there. These are research grade photographs. So what I do is, oh, look at that. That's the, uh, that's the Bear Mountain Bridge right there. That's so funny. Let's click on that one. That's a research grade one. I can catalog that. Is it? Yeah, it, it almost looks like the GW. Okay, where was it? No, it's not. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's find out exactly where this was. Now, all these other dots are other observations, but the green one corresponds to this photo here. Okay, that's not the Bear Mountain Bridge. We're going to find out exactly where it was. And this was in Richmond County, US, USA, uh, New York City. This is the Gateway National Recreation Area where this was. So which bridge is that? I should know that. I don't always pay attention. It's along the uh, Hudson River though, but it's down in New York City. Let's see if we can get a better view there. There's Fort Hamilton, the Belt Parkway. Can I get a name on the bridge? Probably not. Fort Wadsworth. Gateway National Park. That's Brooklyn. This is down, this area down in here is where, there's New York Aquarium, not Brighton Beach. Where the heck is it? Is that the Baranzano? That's Route 278. There's Sandy Hook. All right, now I'm getting off the subject here. Okay, so I don't know my bridges. I should. But down in this southern area, where the heck is it? Oh, Floyd Bennett Field. That's a great place to camp. It really is pretty cool. Um, used to be an old airfield during the during World War II. And then it was abandoned. Now it's a park. But down in this area, I'm not quite finding it. It should be... It's, oh yes, uh, Diker Golf Course in Diker Heights. 
the oldest golf course in America. I had a chance to play there once, but something came up and I couldn't go. Okay, so anywho, what I do here is I go down the projects. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of them. There's the Wild Green Mames for Ecological for Fiends or Friends INAT project. I don't know who these people are because this is such a huge database. It could be anywhere. There's New York Wildflower Monitoring Project. But all these people, uh, well, some of them are doing it to um, just for their own purpose, and some are doing it just because they're trying to eradicate the invasives. So there's my picture, and this is the way I do my collect and drag. Now, see what comes up? The second one says Invasive Strike Force EcoQuest. That's the group that I'm a part of. So I just click on that. And there it is. Oh, where'd it go? There it is, right there. So it's been cataloged with the group that I'm a part of. And uh, yeah, it's boring. <laughs> but uh, you get used to doing this after a while. And before you know it, these names just become part of your life and you don't forget them especially if you enjoy it because I do and I think it's a lot of fun so this is what I do with my time and it takes up a lot of time there's another one it's research grade and full uh, Alanthus and full seed But it does take up an awful lot of time, and this is the reason why I don't get to spend as much time as I would like on YouTube. So there's another one, beautiful picture of its um, of its seeds. I mean, it's not really beautiful. Oh, it's already in there. So I, I probably either I entered it or somebody else did. But it's kind of looking to me as though. Uh, people have gone off to do other things and this has sort of been neglected so I'm trying to get through the whole thing and add as many pictures as I possibly can to make life easier for others so this is what I do interesting isn't it there's another research grade picture of Alanthus that's the Latin name for it Alanthus altissima. It's a pain in the neck. Oh, good. That's already in there. So, all I gotta do is go back. And, I think I did. Did I do this one? If I already did it or somebody else did, like I just showed you, yes, it'll, it'll just show up. So, it's tedious work. Let's see. Where was this one found? Kind of looks like a city picture. Manhattan. <laughs> Did you know that Alanthus tree of heaven was the tree that grew in Brooklyn? That's what it was because this tree will handle pretty much anything. So this tree was found on 3rd Avenue between 68th Street, East 68th and East 69th. Fascinating, isn't it? And Lenox Hill. A lot of rich people live there, Upper East Side. And these red dots, of course, like I said earlier, which looks like chicken pox, that's how many are in this area. So Manhattan is loaded with Atlantis. And so is Brooklyn. Here's Brooklyn over here. So the tree still lives up to its uh, to its claim to fame and and the book a tree grows in Brooklyn and the movie too the movie was real it, it was bittersweet but it was a really good movie if you ever get a chance look it up it's definitely worth watching all right everybody thanks for watching I'm Irene from the field guide and I hope you got an education and you didn't fall asleep on me have a good day bye bye